Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Katie. In today's video, I'm going to be recreating some more TikTok DIYs. I've done a few of these videos in the past and you guys really seem to like them and I love making them. So I've saved a bunch more TikTok videos for some inspiration and I'm gonna try to recreate those projects today and see if they're easy, if they are worth it and I will let you guys know. And to help me out with these projects today, I'm going to be using my Cricut machine and this video is sponsored by Cricut and I'm so excited to use it today for these TikTok DIYs because it just opens up a whole new world of possibilities of things that I can make. If you are new to the world of Cricut, it is a cutting machine that can cut hundreds of materials, everything from vinyl to cardstock, even leather, which is so cool. So as we go through the projects today, I'm just gonna show you a few of my favorite features of my machine and how I use it pretty much day to day on a lot of projects. So let's go ahead and get started on the first TikTok DIY. The first TikTok DIY comes from Geneva Vanderzeel. She made these amazing foil notebooks that would be so perfect as journals or for tracking to-do lists. And I picked up a pack of these plain brown notebooks, which will be so easy to customize. I went into Design Space. This is the free software that comes with your Cricut machine. Then I typed out my name because I really liked her original design. So I wanted to keep it close to that. I arranged them on one side and stacked them on top of each other. This was my first time using the foil transfer sheets and it was the coolest thing. For this one, I decided to use gold against my cardstock in a burnt orange color because I really thought that would help the gold to pop. And the foil transfer tool just presses right down onto the foil and transfers the design onto the base material. I decided to make one more notebook just for fun and this time I used more of a coppery bronze foil with off-white cardstock. I thought this would be a fun book for writing down ideas or when I have random little notes that I wanna keep track of. Next, I added the blade back in to cut the rectangle, which will fit my notebook perfectly. So it really just does all of the work for me. Once everything was all cut out, I added some glue to the front of the notebook. Then I lined the paper up with the side edge and smoothed it down. Then I flipped it over, added more glue to the back and smoothed down the paper. You guys, how cool does this look? I am so excited about this and I can't wait to make them as gifts and I might even make one for recipes and add my favorites inside. I had a last minute thought that it would be good to have something to keep my place in the book and there was a tiny gap at the top between the notebook and the paper. So I grabbed some leather cord and added a small amount of hot glue to it then slid it into the gap and let it cool. This really elevated the look of the entire project and will be super helpful when I'm actually using it. This next DIY is not from a specific TikTok video, but more of a trend that I've seen on there, which is checkered decor, and I think it is so cute. I've got these plain white tiles, which you can find at any home improvement store, and the edges were not a uniform color, so the first thing I did was to use some white craft paint to go around the edges and just make them all one color to match the tile. If you happen to get paint on the actual tile, just use your finger to wipe it off. The surface is really glossy, so it's no big deal if that happens. I found this checkerboard pattern in the image search in Design Space, and I thought it would work well for my vision. I didn't need all these extra layers, so I deleted them, and then I resized it to be the same exact size as the tiles. So for this one, I used permanent vinyl, which is great for coasters, because you can get water on it and it won't hurt the vinyl. I chose a few of my favorite colors, a peachy pink color, light green and gray, and I think they'll also all work really well together. I added some transfer tape to the top of the design, then smoothed it out so I could transfer it over easily. Whenever I make coasters, especially with tiles like this that are more rough on the bottom side, I make sure that whatever surface they're going to be sitting on will be protected. This time I used some small furniture pads and stuck them to each of the four corners. Now they are ready to be used. And again, this would be such a cute and unique gift for someone, or you can jump on the checkered trend and use them as decor in your own house. The 
final project inspiration also came from Geneva. She's so creative and she made some patterned table runners and napkins. But I wanted to try this out and make a couple of new throw pillow covers. I used the same rainbow image that she used in Design Space and resized it for the pillow cover. I had some iron-on material left over from another project and I thought that the olive color would look really nice against the white pillow cover. This was actually so satisfying to weed out this extra material because iron-on is really stretchy and easy to peel. And I just love that I can create such a large design like this but with minimal work on my end. It's already looking so beautiful, I can't wait to add it to my pillow. So once I had the pattern ready to go, I centered it on the pillow cover then used my Easy Press 2 to press the iron-on material to the cover. Since the design was pretty large, I did this step in two sections. When it had cooled slightly, I removed the liner and was left with this gorgeous pillow cover. I love the simplicity of it and the muted green tone will make it the perfect piece for styling with the rest of my decor. I wanted to make another pillow to complement this one, so I used the same rainbow image but scaled down the sides quite a bit and cut out a bunch of them, but this time on some infusible ink sheets. Infusible ink is so cool because it permanently transfers to the material, so it won't peel off or flake. I cut nine rainbows total and lined them up evenly spaced on the pillow cover. I applied the heat and transferred the ink to the cover, and just look how beautifully these transferred. I still can't get over how professional this looks. I would definitely pay for something like this at a store, but I love that I can design my own and make them personal to me and my style. All right, let me know in the comments down below which one of these three DIYs was your favorite. And like I said before, I will leave all the links down below to my Cricut machine and the supplies that I used today. So if you guys wanna try this out for yourself, you can. As always, if you're not following me on Instagram, I would love to have you go over there and follow me. It's just at Katie Bookser, and it's so much fun when you guys tag me in your project. So that's a really easy way to do that so that I can see your recreations of my DIYs. And of course, if you are not subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the little bell notification so you get notified as soon as I upload a new video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you soon.